The Air Force just unleashed a beast that carries more firepower than any fighter jet in American history. We're talking 22 missiles on a single aircraft. But here's what nobody's telling you. This isn't even its most dangerous capability. While China and Russia raced to build stealthy fighters, the Pentagon made a shocking decision. They went back to a 50-year-old design and turned it into something that has enemy air forces scrambling to respond. And the twist? It can do things the F-35 and F-22 can't. What you're about to discover will change everything you thought you knew about air superiority. The F-15EX Eagle II just achieved something in July 2024 that sent shockwaves through military circles worldwide. But before we reveal what that was, you need to understand why the Air Force chose this path over building more stealth fighters. The answer involves a capability so critical that it's reshaping America's entire defense strategy in the Pacific. Welcome to Jet Insight. Today we're breaking down the five capabilities of the F-15EX that are turning heads at the Pentagon and keeping adversaries up at night. This isn't your grandfather's eagle. Boeing took five decades of combat-proven excellence and merged it with technology so advanced that parts of it are still classified. From hypersonic weapons to controlling drone swarms, this fighter is rewriting the rules of modern warfare. And every single capability we're covering today is backed by official Air Force data from 2024 and 2025. If you're proud of American air power, type proud in the comments below. The weapons truck that broke all records. Let's start with something that sounds impossible. The F-15EX can carry 29,500 pounds of weapons. To put that in perspective, that's more than the empty weight of an F-16 Fighting Falcon. We're not talking about theory here. This aircraft achieved full operational capability in July 2024 at Portland Air National Guard Base, and it's already changing how America plans to fight future wars. Here's where it gets interesting. The Eagle II has 12 external hardpoints, plus two conformal weapon stations built right into the fuselage. Boeing engineers didn't just add more pylons, they completely redesigned the wing structure with digital fly-by-wire controls that eliminated the flutter problems that plagued earlier F-15s. This breakthrough unlocked two additional weapon stations that previous Eagles couldn't use. Now, the Air Force tested something in January 2023 that made waves across the defense industry. They loaded an F-15EX with 12 air-to-air -air missiles and sent it up for trials. Standard F-15s max out at 8. But the engineers weren't done. Using advanced amber racks and the conformal fuel tank stations, they've proven the aircraft can theoretically mount up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles in a full loadout. 22. That's more missiles than most countries have fighters. But raw numbers only tell part of the story. What makes this capability truly shocking is what it means for combat tactics. The F-35 Lightning II, stealthy and nearly invisible, can detect multiple enemy aircraft at extreme range. Alone, that F-35 might carry six to eight missiles. But pair it with an F-15EX flying behind it, loaded with 22 AMRA amps. The F-35 becomes the scout. The Eagle II becomes the arsenal ship of the sky. The Pentagon calls this the loyal wingman concept. The F-15EX doesn't need to penetrate heavily defended airspace. It lurks just outside the threat ring, carrying enough firepower to support multiple stealth fighters simultaneously. When the F-35 identifies targets, the Eagle II fires its missiles, guided by data from the stealthy platform up front. And here's the kicker. The aircraft can carry this massive payload while still hitting Mach 2.5. That's 1,875 miles per hour. The F-110 GE-129 engines pump out 29,000 pounds of thrust each, giving the F-15EX a thrust-to-weight ratio that keeps it agile, even when maxed out with ordnance. The Air Force ran this through 19 large force employment exercises in August 2023. They tested it against fourth-generation threats and limited fifth-generation adversaries. The Eagle II successfully employed AIM 9X Sidewinders, AIM 120 AMRA AMs, small diameter bombs, and JASM cruise missiles in the same test series. The payload capacity isn't just about missiles. The F-15EX can haul up to 16 GBU-39 small-diameter bombs, or multiple 2,000-pound JDAMs, or a mix of everything. One aircraft handles air superiority, deep strike, close air support, and defense suppression missions without returning to base. 
But carrying more missiles than any American fighter is just the beginning. What the F-15EX does with those missiles reveals a capability so advanced that it leapfrogs a generation of fighter technology. And it involves a radar system that can track targets most fighters can't even see. Next Generation Sensors AND Electronic Warfare the AN-APG-82V1 ASA radar sitting in the nose of the F-15EX isn't just an upgrade, it's a quantum leap. This active electronically scanned array radar represents one of the most powerful fighter radars in the world. Raytheon delivered these systems specifically for the F-15EX program starting in 2020. Traditional radars have a physical dish that rotates to search for targets. The AG-82 uses thousands of tiny transmit-receive modules that operate independently. This means it can track multiple targets simultaneously while jamming enemy radars and mapping ground terrain, all at the same time. Long-range detection, maritime targeting, and electronic protection that rivals anything in the American arsenal. But the real game-changer is the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, known as EPOS. Developed by Bay Systems, this electronic warfare suite completed its initial operational test in April 2024, and what it does is borderline science fiction. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. EPOS combines defensive and offensive electronic warfare into one integrated package. On defense, it detects incoming threats, identifies them, and automatically deploys countermeasures. The system uses advanced algorithms to predict enemy radar patterns and creates tailored jamming responses in real time. The offensive capabilities push even further. EPOS can actively jam enemy air defense systems, disrupting their ability to track and engage friendly aircraft. In contested airspace, this turns the F-15EX into a miniature electronic warfare platform, protecting itself and nearby friendly aircraft. Now, the Air Force is developing cognitive electronic warfare for the F-15EX. This technology uses artificial intelligence to analyze the electronic battlefield, identify threats, and respond faster than any human operator could. The system learns from each engagement, adapting its tactics based on enemy behavior. The mission computer inside this fighter is the fastest ever installed on a combat aircraft. Boeing calls it the ADCP-2, and it processes sensor data, manages weapons systems, runs electronic warfare programs, and coordinates with other aircraft simultaneously. The all-glass digital cockpit ties everything together with large area touchscreen displays. Pilots access critical flight and mission data through intuitive interfaces. These systems provide situational awareness that earlier F-15 pilots could only dream about. The November 2023 operational test report confirmed the F-15EX is operationally effective against all tested threats. It met every reliability, availability, and maintainability target the Air Force set. These sensors and electronic warfare systems prepare the F-15EX for a role that sounds like something from a futuristic movie. The Air Force is turning this fighter into something that will control the battle space in ways no manned aircraft has before. Commanding Drone Swarms AND Collaborative Combat Aircraft The future of air combat isn't just manned fighters. It's manned fighters working alongside autonomous drones that multiply combat power exponentially. And the F-15EX is being positioned as the quarterback of this new formation. Boeing is actively testing F-15EX interoperability with collaborative combat aircraft, known as CCAs. These aren't simple drones. They're AI-powered autonomous aircraft designed to fly complex combat missions alongside manned fighters. And the two-seat cockpit of the F-15EX makes it uniquely qualified to control them. Here's how this changes warfare. The front seat pilot flies the F-15EX. The weapon systems officer in the back manages multiple CCAs, directing them like chess pieces across the battle space. These drones can scout ahead into heavily defended airspace, draw enemy fire to reveal hidden air defense positions, engage targets, and even sacrifice themselves to protect the manned aircraft. Need reconnaissance over enemy territory? Send a drone. Enemy fighters approaching? Direct a CA to engage them while the F-15EX fires missiles from standoff range. Surface-to-air missile sight detected? Task a drone to suppress it while the Eagle II exploits the opening. 
The mission computer has the processing power to handle multiple data streams from CCAs simultaneously. The advanced cockpit displays show the status and position of multiple drones in real time. The communication systems maintain secure, jam-resistant links with autonomous aircraft even in contested electromagnetic environments. The open mission system's architecture inside the F-15EX enables something unprecedented. This open architecture means new capabilities can be added through software updates rather than physical hardware modifications. Boeing has DeMonster. TED deploying the same software container across different F-15EX aircraft without any recompilation. What does this mean? The Air Force can develop a new capability, test it, and push it out to the entire F-15EX fleet through software updates. Some planners even discuss updating aircraft systems during flight, downloading new capabilities while airborne. A single F-15EX could control four CCAs, each carrying additional sensors and weapons. That's effectively a five aircraft formation controlled by two people. Multiply that across a squadron, and you've created a force multiplier that dramatically shifts the balance of air power. The large area display shows the position and status of friendly forces, enemy threats, and controlled CCAs on a single screen. The WSO manages this mini air force while the pilot focuses on flying and employing the F-15EX's own weapons load. Controlling drone swarms represents a massive leap in combat capability. But the F-15EX has one more trick that puts it in a category few aircraft can match. And this capability involves speeds that make traditional defenses obsolete. Hypersonic Weapons Integration The F-15EX can carry hypersonic missiles. We're talking about weapons that travel faster than Mach 5, more than 3,800 miles per hour, following unpredictable trajectories that current missile defense systems simply cannot intercept. The Ang-183 Air launched rapid response weapon, known as a ROW, was specifically designed with the F-15EX as one of its launch platforms. This boost glide hypersonic weapon uses a rocket to accelerate to extreme speeds, then releases an unpowered glide vehicle that maneuvers toward its target at velocities exceeding Mach 5. Boeing designed the F-15EX to carry weapons up to 22 feet long. Traditional fighters struggle with anything longer than 15 feet. This extended capacity opens the door for hypersonic weapons, large cruise missiles, and future munitions that don't even exist yet. The first successful RO test came in May 2022, launched from a B-52 bomber. The weapon separated cleanly, its booster ignited perfectly, and it achieved speeds greater than Mach 5. Additional successful tests followed throughout 2023. Hypersonic weapons solve a problem that has plagued conventional cruise missiles for decades. Traditional missiles are relatively slow and follow predictable trajectories. Modern air defense systems can track and intercept them. Hypersonic weapons change everything. The combination of extreme speed and unpredictable maneuvering makes them nearly impossible to defend against. By the time a defender detects the weapon, it's already hit its target. This creates time compression, giving adversaries almost no time to react. The F-15EX carrying these weapons becomes a strategic asset. The aircraft doesn't need to penetrate sophisticated air defense networks. It launches from outside the threat envelope, letting the hypersonic missile cover the final distance in minutes while evading all defenses. The Air Force is also funding the Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile Program, known as HACK. This smaller, air-breathing hypersonic weapon uses a scramjet engine. Service officials suggest the F-15EX will be among the first platforms to carry hack. Community Mention Veterans and military enthusiasts are already discussing how these capabilities will reshape future conflicts. If you want to join conversations with people who understand what these advances really mean, check out the military aviation communities online. Hypersonic weapons represent the cutting edge. But there's one more capability that ties everything together and explains why the Air Force is investing billions in what critics called an outdated design. Open Mission Systems Rapid Modernization The most important capability of the F-15EX is the least visible. It's the software architecture that allows this fighter to evolve faster than any combat aircraft in history. The Open Mission Systems architecture represents a complete revolution. Traditional fighters require extensive modifications to integrate new systems. 
Upgrades take years and cost hundreds of millions. The F-15EX throws that model out. Its ARMS architecture uses standardized interfaces between components. New systems plug into the aircraft like apps downloading to a smartphone. Boeing has demonstrated this by deploying containerized software across multiple F-15EX aircraft without modifications. When a new threat emerges, software developers can create countermeasures and push them to the fleet in weeks. When new weapons are fielded, integration software can be developed in parallel. When tactical doctrine evolves, mission systems update to match. This is why the Air Force chose the F-15EX instead of buying more F-35s. The Eagle II fills a critical gap right now while providing a platform that will remain relevant for decades through continuous evolution. Every F-15EX delivered shares 70% of its parts with existing F-15s. Maintenance crews transition in days. Pilots move from older Eagles to the EX in about two weeks. Infrastructure, training facilities, and depot support all carry over. But underneath that familiar exterior, the X is fundamentally different. The digital backbone, the open architecture, the advanced mission systems create a platform that can absorb future technologies without lengthy modification programs. The Air Force expects the F-15EX to operate effectively into the 2040s and beyond. Traditional fighter upgrades take 5 to 10 years. With the F-15EX architecture, that timeline collapses to months for software-based capabilities. Boeing and the Air Force are continuously testing new capabilities. Cognitive electronic warfare systems. Advanced networking. Enhanced sensor fusion. As these mature, they roll out through software updates. Conclusion the F-15EX Eagle II proves that innovation isn't just about building something entirely new. From record-breaking weapons loads to hypersonic strike capability, from commanding drone swarms to a software architecture that enables constant evolution, the Eagle II represents a different approach to air superiority, one that delivers massive capability right now while staying relevant decades into the future. If this changed how you see modern air power, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the technology protecting American skies. Thanks for watching. Jet Insight.